Now with that gymnastics bombshell rocking the sports world, the U.S. Olympic Committee is moving to shut down the organization that oversees all U.S. gymnastics. This, of course, in the wake of the sex abuse scandal involving team doctor Larry Nasser. Ariel Reshef is here and joins us more with that story. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Robin. It was a surprise decision that many in the gymnastics world say was a long time coming. The so-called nuclear option, a move that could spell the end of an era for USA gym Gymnastics. This morning, a massive shakeup in one of the Olympics' most watched sports. The U.S. Olympic Committee exercising the so-called nuclear option, taking explosive steps to revoke USA Gymnastics status as the national governing body, citing its botched handling of the sex abuse scandal that rocked the sport. And I have experienced flashback nightmares of the abuse. I hope that the abuse will end with us. I hope that people can learn from what happened to us, that this should never, ever, ever happen again. In an open letter to the gymnastics community, the USOC writing, the path is not crystal clear, but our motives are. So we move forward committed to ensuring the type of organization each gymnast and the coaches, trainers, and club owners who support them deserves. The bombshell decision comes as USAG struggles to restructure and reinvent itself amid allegations it turned a blind eye and even covered up rampant sexual abuse by former team doctor Larry Nasser. Nasser sentenced earlier this year to 175 years in prison. I just signed your death warrant. Among his alleged victims, gold medal winners Simone Biles, Michaela Maroney, and Ali Raisman. All we needed was one adult to have the integrity to stand between us and Larry Nasser. This decision affects not just the elite of American gymnasts, but the 150,000 athletes and 3,000 clubs around the country. The demand for USA Gymnastics to surrender its status or face being shut down coming fresh off the World Championships. Less than two years away from the 2020 Olympics. The USOC is vowing to ensure training and support for Team USA hopefuls isn't hurt in the wake of the battle. Overnight, USA Gymnastics responding to the decision. We will continue to prioritize our athletes' health and safety and focus on acting in the best interests of the greater gymnastics community. And USA Gymnastics serves those 150,000 athletes, as you heard there, across the country. As of now, there is no organization standing by to fill that vacuum. But one high-profile gymnastics insider tells me this shakeup should have little immediate effect on the athletes or the Olympic team. But, Robin, it could have a major impact on how this sport is run in the future. It certainly could, Ariel. Thank you. So let's bring in ABC News contributor Christine Brennan, who's been following the story from the beginning. So you heard what was just said. People thought, many critics, that this should have happened long ago. Why now? Why now? Because the World Championships, Robin, just ended. Simone Biles, of course, becoming the four-time world champion, the U.S. women's team winning another world title. And the USOC did not want to disrupt that. Uh, the we, Lord knows the athletes have been disrupted enough. Mm -hmm. um, but when you consider the, uh, that the USA Gymnastics is now looking for its fourth CEO, in less than two years, Robin, something had to be done. Enough was enough. And so, uh, just explain to people what impact this will have and, and how it can hopefully improve things. Well, decertification has only been done three other times by the U.S. Olympic Committee in national governing bodies that are much less known, Taekwondo and Team Handball and modern pentathlon. So this is a very big deal with the uh, a sport that so many people care about. The immediate effect will be that the athletes have a feeling, the sense that uh, the U.S. Olympic Committee with the new CEO, Sarah Hirschland, cares about them and is doing things differently. And I think, frankly, that freshness, that sense, uh, even the PR side of this, Robin, is enough to let those athletes know. As far as Simone Biles and the others, they're going to go full steam ahead just as yeah. they have. And they've been the conscience of the sport as well as being the stars of the sport. And they certainly have. I'll never forget them on that SB stage, uh, all of them together like that. Exactly. So people want to know, uh, it, will it have any impact on, impact on the upcoming Olympics? Do I don't think? think so. Well, first of all, I think they're going to get this resolved before then. Uh, the U.S. Olympic Committee has come in here. The new CEO has said, we've got to get this done now. And it's a, it's a major statement. And I think that's the big takeaway. It's the statement. I think the athletes, there's going to be some uncertainty and upheaval. But I do think the athletes will move forward just as they have. Uh, they have been remarkable. They, they? When the adults have not uh, done the job, the athletes have. Well said, my friend. Well said. Always appreciate your insight, Christine. Thank you very much. And Thank through all you, of this, the focus of the athletes has been really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.